Hi, this is PC Roger, and I'm taking a look at a brand new Windows 8 machine. And I have to say, it is uh, the most confusing, unusable, worthless operating system I've ever seen in my life. It's, uh, well, I don't know, Apple is pretty crazy too if you're not used to it. But this is just distracting, and who knows what in the world to do with it. They tell you to move your mouse into a corner of the screen and the results are either a little bit delayed or not intuitive. So the first thing we're going to do is try to get this thing to a usable state. And to do that, we are going to install a free program called Classic Shell. Now we could just click on Internet Explorer here, but that gives me a full screen and makes it kind of weird and I don't want that. As far as I know, the easy way to get out of that is to hit the Windows key on the keyboard. We'll choose this desktop icon, and at the bottom it's out of the screen, but we're just going to just going to click on Internet Explorer here. And a couple of things I'm going to do is I am going to install Google Chrome here, although I won't use it much. I will install Firefox as well. Probably the last thing I want to use is Internet Explorer. Uh, they might impress me with a newer version, but I, I doubt it. We want to uh, go to the address bar here and go to classicshell.net and we'll click on download now. Here it asks us do you want to save or run. We want to just go ahead and save it. Uh, I want to make sure I know where it goes to. I don't want it to go into the downloads. I want it to go into the desktop. I'll change that later as well. I always like to download to my desktop and immediately deal with it. And now you can click run and it will run the program. Go ahead and close out Internet Explorer. And actually accept that license agreement after reading it carefully. And we're just going to click next and go through here and install. Now it prompts us for an administrator password. And one of the annoying things I've learned how to take care of is that the number lock keeps turning off. Don't need the README file. We'll click finish. And what you can see, if I can down, drag the uh, screen down there, is now we have this little start button down here. And this gives us the ability to enable the start button. We can go with the arrow or classic or some custom button. You can go with a classic style, uh, classic two columns or Windows 7 style, whatever your preference might be. Hit OK. And after that, you end up with something that's a little bit more accustomed to. And control panel, for instance, uh, there's ways of getting these things on the screen with Windows 8, but again, it's not intuitive. You have to mess around to find out how to do that. And this is uh, this is a lot more, uh, I guess, again, productive because it's what we're used to. Why do we need to learn something totally new to do the same old stuff? So that was all this, uh, this particular tip is on, is just getting Classic Shell installed so that you can maybe try to get something done with your machine right away. And after that, I'll be doing some other videos here and look for those on my channel. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll know when those uh, come out and you can take a look at them. But for now, that's it. We've got Classic Shell and we're ready to get a little bit more productive. Hope this video has helped. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.